there. Welcome back to Understanding Design. Last time we spoke about design for society. Today's topic is design for sustainability. To discuss this, we have with us Gitanjali Sachdev, faculty at the Srishti Institute of Art, Design and Technology at Bangalore. Good to have you here, Gitanjali. Thanks, Nina. The concept of sustainability has become increasingly relevant in all spheres of living. It plays a key role in addressing environmental and social concerns, which are critical today. Let's take a closer look. Gitanjali, do explain to us the concept of sustainability and what has design got to do with it? Sustainability um, has to do with being environmentally conscious, but it's also much more than that. It also has to do with um, social equity and economic development. It implies meeting one's own needs without compromising the uh, ability to meet the needs of the future generation. Sustainability really applies to all kinds of design, product design, textile design, furniture design, systems and um, services design. My background is in visual communication, and, uh, but I trained in pedagogy, and that's what I do at Srishti. I teach art and design. And uh, really because sustainability has become such a critical concept today and it's so relevant, you have to bring it into all kinds of design, whether it's course design or like I said, you know, the earlier genres of design, product systems and services design. Tell us more. Okay, so um, how does sustainability relate to design? What, what, what's the relationship and how do you bring the idea in? It can be an underpinning to the design you do. It has certain core principles that if you apply to design, it shapes your environment and your society in, in particular ways. So for, at the end of this course, what I'd really like to do is for students to be able to evaluate how good or bad a design is based on the criteria of sustainability that they apply to their work. And I'm going to talk about a few designers who've deployed the concept in their work and uh, show some videos that we looked at while we were discussing the idea. So Nina, I've been talking to some of my colleagues at Srishti and, and around the areas of sustainability. There's a gentleman by the name of Ravi Mani. He's a sustainable development consultant in the areas of architecture and energy solutions. And he teaches our undergraduate students um, courses on sustainability. And I'd like to share with you some of the videos he shared with me and some of his ideas. Oh yeah, let's see. The conventional approach to product design or manufacturing used to be focused primarily on the economic factors, mm -hmm. which were cost, quality, and uh, lead time. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does this product cost? Mm -hmm. At what quality level should we uh, pitch it in the market? And how long will it take to produce the product and also to manufacture it and ship it to the customers? Mm -hmm. um, but typically, the rate at which materials were consumed or how the waste was being processed going back into the environment was not a major part of the consideration. Because the rate of consumption became really uh, very high compared to uh, the rate at which nature can regenerate these resources, sustainability became a very important factor to consider in product design. Uh, so sustainability um, in terms of responsible consumption and also the waste management became a central core concept to address in product design. You know, so really when doing design for sustainability, there are uh, three lenses which a designer needs to look at. One is environmental factors, two is economic factors, and three is socio-cultural factors. That's not very hard to remember. So let's watch a really well-known video. It's called The Story of Stuff, and some of you may have seen it already. By now you know the drill. Go to the next tab and click and then come back to us when you're done. 